Anime Champion Simulator is a game we used to play all the time on stream. And we kind of stopped playing it for a while because it's a bad update, but if you can look here, I mean, I literally have every game pass except for this new one that they added, and I, my team is, well, back in the day, my team was very stacked. Obviously not leaderboard level, but I was killing it. I was able to carry a lot of raids. And so now they have come out with a lot of updates since we last played this game. So we're gonna, so today we're gonna take a look at all of the updates and see if it's worth coming back to. Let's find out. The last time that we played this game, we were fin we have finished Marine Fortress, and the update for Virtual Palace was about to come out, but we decided not even to give it a try to that update. Yeah, I think we played it for like maybe fifteen minutes, and then that was around the time that we gave up. So this is the last thing that I had remembered seeing before we kept playing this game. <laughs> and uh, as you guys saw in that teleport, I mean, they have Portal City, they have Arcane Kingdom, Punch City, Universe, Tourney, Tourney, and the Eclipse. So they've added a ton of new worlds. There's a ton of other new features in the game too so let's go ahead and pop on over to galaxy one champion city and uh, we're gonna summon for some cosmics but you're gonna see how it's a little bit different now that we got with codes this cosmic so some things never change though yeah if you guys want those codes there's three brand new codes that i'll drop in the description below which is the codes we use to get some of these summonings uh summon capsules but uh let's see so i those are old but uh, we have an easter summon and so they have this new rarity in the game that's called astral and this unit right here is a limited time unit i'm pretty sure which is do flamingo from one piece his name is pink flamingo in the game and uh maybe we get lucky i don't know if i'll get so lucky to get him right now i've already summoned a bunch of these already trying to grind some of the uh things for this update to make this video for you guys but Maybe we get lucky, what do you think? I was already lucky, so I already have him. Yeah, so fortunately, if you don't get to see it on our screen, then we'll go ahead and show you Kanojo's version, and uh, you get to see what this bunny looks like when it's not a bunny and it's actually just a pink flamingo. Yeah, so this right here is the godly pink flamingo, Mr. Dofi. I'm pretty sure he's one of the new meta units. Obviously, he's an astral, so that makes him extremely rare to get. Uh, Kanojo was saying earlier over here that, you know, what, what did you want to tell him over here? That it's 100% to get the girl, so how do you even get the other guy? Yeah, I know. So the odds of getting picked off Flamingo are literally less than 1%, which is why it says 100% for the bunny girl. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see if we can get some of the new champions out of these Galaxy 2 summons. I have some Galaxy 1s. So I'll probably save those for later in case I need them. And uh, we also got this tournament summon. Actually, let's go ahead and start with the tournament summon so I can show you guys something cool. Oh, so, you have a tournament summon? Yeah, yeah, I've let's see. I've never played any of the tournaments. Oh, and they have Godly, Cosmic, and Astral Pity. Interesting. Oh. I wonder how that works. I got a feeling it's not going to give me the godly. It almost never did. Oh man, dude. I think that uh, I've played this game way too many times to know that I don't, uh, I'm not allowed to get godlies. In case you guys want to see some of my stats too, I mean, I, I proved how much I played this game. 908 hours on the game. I've summoned, uh, I've won 383 raids. I've killed a lot of enemies, a earned lot. a lot of coins. Where the, I spent a lot of Robux, yikes. <laughs> and Cosmics opened 476. So something else that they added to the game is that I can actually open multiple summons here at once so that I don't have to sit through the animation. I'm pretty sure the max is 10 right now. So let's go ahead and summon these three. Let's see what we get. Maybe we get lucky. Or maybe we don't. And no godly for me. Big rips, boys. You got Always. Saitama. I got Saitama. Let's see who else I got there when I uh, when I pulled on those. So I got uh, Kirito, I got Sung Jing Woo, and uh, Mr. Saitama, like Kano just said. But aside from the new rarity of Astrals that they added, they also added runes to the game. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I just got some of these with codes. I don't remember. I mean, I don't remember looking at anything that gave them to me. So if I did get them from not codes, then I got them from something else just playing the game. So I'm sure they're not too hard to get. But I only have epic ones. And you can actually come over here to the, the forge area. And there's a rune upgrades here now. So let me select Ooh. this. And yeah, you can actually upgrade this to increase the damage. So it increases a little bit. These don't do like an insane amount of increases, but it's not too bad. I don't know how much I can upgrade this to. No, let me just... That's a lot of upgrades. Honestly, maybe that's not too bad. 11.4% uh, stun damage and 24.5% damage. So something that you guys need to know about the runes is that once you equip them, you cannot unequip them. So I have this equipped right now on my leader. And uh, I, you see, there's no one equipped here. So if you guys want to remove it, you actually have to destroy the rune, which right here. Yeah, you're gonna have to like literally destroy the rune, which kind of sucks. So be careful when you're putting on those, uh, putting that on your units. And yeah, uh, yeah you don't want to lose it. 
I'm glad I never put any of them. <laughs> so, um, in case you guys haven't seen the latest world, because it does take a little bit of grinding to get here, we're going to go ahead and jump over there and show you what's going on. This is based on the anime Berserk. So, Griffith is obviously the new, I think, godly in this game. I'm not sure. Or, the sorry, the new cosmic in this game. But I'm not sure if there's going to be an astral for this world yet. Uh, I haven't gotten any of the summons yet because, uh, you know, my luck be down bad. I did pop a luck potion earlier and some damage potions. But they also increased the level cap to uh, 210. So, I grinded a little bit already and got my leader to be uh, level 208. It, it takes a long time to grind to 210. So, forgive me for not getting on the way. But she's already doing. 2.13 quadrillion average DPS. That can you believe that? Let's go. It's actually insane. It's not even a godly and it's doing that much. So they really ramped up the damage a lot. And down here, you guys see they actually show you your team's DPS, which is awesome. Uh, my old, good. yeah, my old DPS I think was like a hundred trillion. So it's a lot higher now. <laughs> it's a lot higher now. So Ooh, let's go ahead and see what we got to do for these quests. Uh, skeleton knight, you want me to complete the eclipse raid? 20 of them. All right, how about you give me an easier raid? Maybe, or not an easier raid, an easier thing. Hidden chest. I like that. We can do Brr, that. Nah, let's talk to this guy. I don't want to go find a bunch of hidden chests, man. I'm about to hide and seek. Defeat Corrupt King. Oh, now that one. Now that one I can do. So let's go ahead and finish up these quests. We'll see what they give us, and then we'll check back in with you guys. We did the find the, ch the, find the chest quest. That one wasn't too hard. And that actually gave us a, a new Galaxy 2 summon that we're going to go use right now. We're on the last quest for this world, the last main quest, and it's going to be to kill this person 20 times. Uh, Griffith literally has an obscene amount of health, so uh, th th this is going to take a long time to grind. So we're going to go ahead and do this later. We're going to go ahead and jump over to the Galaxy 1 Cosmic Summon again so that we can see what we get from this uh, Cosmic Summon. Maybe we get lucky with the new units. And, uh, well, actually, I think that they changed the way that this new... Oh, no, never mind. So the Galaxy 2... So, so it just gave me a regular Galaxy 2 summon. And uh, I have a 14% chance of getting the new unit, and obviously, like, bl literally 0% chances of getting this. So Kanoja's going to be activating hers, too. We'll see who gets lucky. Maybe maybe neither of us gets lucky, because that's usually yeah, how it goes for it. me. And what you gonna give me? What you gonna give me? You give me another Sun Jing Wu, bro. I got like three of these. I don't need another one. All right. Well, I didn't get so lucky. Let's see if Kanoja gets lucky. I did. Kanoja got, got lucky. Oh got my the god. Of life. Are you kidding me? All right. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unequip our units so we can show you guys what this looks like. This is ridiculous. All right, Kanoki, bring her out. Bring her out. Bring her out. Look at that. The Falcon of Light, bro. This is not fair. Kanojo level 120 because that's what it came with. What do you mean? What an ultimate flex. It. What the ultimate flex, Kanojo? What is this? Why you got to be so lucky? This isn't fair. That's my answer. All right. Well, let's go ahead and jump into one of these new raids. Let's go ahead and show you guys what the new raid looks like. And then, then I'll show you guys the new dungeons that they brought into the game. The dungeons are insanely hard. Uh, and so are the raids. So I'm going to go ahead and just do hard mode since I know we can for sure beat this. Kanoki's in the raid. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So, okay. It looks like a... Is it just the ring? It looks like there's not really anything else here. I wonder if it's going to teleport us because if not, then... I think all I have to do is just stand here, and it looks like they increased the raid timer to 30 minutes? That's, that's a... Wild. That's a fat raid timer! Damn, that's a lot of time to get this Look, done, so... there's a thingy over here. A thingy over here? Oh, nice. A little place to stand still. Well... Oh! That's it? That was it. Damn! They... Okay, I guess. The, the raids have changed a lot. I have a bunch of raid keys. Actually, let me see how many I got. How many raid keys? Nine raid keys? I have oh. 16. Don't yell at me, boys. Don't yell at me. I just wanted to see if I get lucky. Oh, and I didn't get lucky. <laughs> Kanoki's got 16 raid keys. That's 16 ridiculous. Raid keys. Well, no lucky for me today. All right. Well, that's what the raids look like. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the dungeon so you guys can see how that works. They're extremely hard, so prepare yourself. All right. So the dungeons are normally going to be found here after you complete the quest that is in Virtual Palace. So make sure you guys get that quest done. You won't be able to get into dungeons until you get to that world. And uh, essentially, when you show up to the quest or to the dungeon, they have like a timer here. I'm just going to go ahead and start because they're super hard, like I was telling you guys. You do want to make sure you have plenty of time, though, because like I told you guys, I'm going to tell you again, this is super hard. But it gives you a little mini map here, and I can zoom out. And there's like little rooms that you can explore, too. So let's go ahead and see if we can make our way over to these rooms. I'll just show you how difficult this is. We won't be completing this in the, street, or in the video today because... 
Uh, yeah, I'm a weak boy, but I do want to at least show you guys how this works, and I am keep going the wrong way, because, uh, big dumb over here. Okay, let's go. So, we got, like, this little room over here. If you beat all the people in this room, then a big old chest. Wait. You beat them. That was fast. What? That's not normally that fast. What happened here? Did someone already, like... Oh, I got a rune! We figured it out. This is where you get the runes from. <laughs> All right, boys. So that's probably where I got the last rune from because I did this uh, once before. So. But I haven't done this, and I have three runes. Yeah, you you get three runes, I think, off the from start. The yeah. So the way you uh, progress through the dungeons here is gonna be through killing the NPCs. I guess that the win the one that I did must have been really hard. I was, uh, boys. I literally couldn't even beat the NPCs in that one room to get to the gold. So let's. Wow. That was fast. Did, maybe they fixed it. Maybe it was just because they... I, I don't know. Did I get another rune from this? Oh, I did. So, am wow. I getting different rarities? No, they're all epic. I wonder if there's other rune types. I honestly don't know. I haven't seen anybody get uh, runes that are better than epic recently, but uh, it looks like that's it. So, huh. Let us know what you guys think. We definitely enjoyed this game back when we were playing it. And while we left, it's not like we don't enjoy the game any less. It is still a pretty good game. We just weren't happy with the way that things were being dealt with at the moment. Yeah, so if you guys want to see some more of this, let me know. I'll make sure to grind my units up there. And I know plenty of you guys could definitely carry us. So let us know what you think down in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye! Peace! Mwah.